it's Ben from Craft Music. Today I'm going to walk you through a basic podcasting setup. Let me run you through the gear we're using today. First of all, we have the Audio-Technica AT2020 podcasting pack, which includes the microphone and its boom arm, which has an integrated microphone cable and desk mount. And the pack also comes with a pair of Audio-Technica headphones. For the interface, we're using the Personas AudioBox i2 and the included Studio One software. You'll also notice that we've attached a basic pop filter to the microphone boom stand, and that helps break up the plosives, which are the P's and B sounds that you'd otherwise hear. First, I connected the microphone to the interface, and because this is a condenser mic, I've enabled phantom power, and then I've connected the interface to my computer using the included USB cable. Now with Studio One running, we'll want to double check our audio device settings, and this will vary based on your program, but in Studio One, it's under preferences, and you'll see that we've got the AudioBox i2 selected as both the recording and the playback device. The other option here is my built-in input. That's the microphone in my laptop, but we don't want to use that because this will sound much better. Now on the main screen, I'm going to record and enable track one, and you'll see the meter reflect that audio is coming from the microphone into this track. And as I hit record, you'll see that audio is recorded into that track, and I can continue my podcast from here. The AudioBox i2 does have two microphone inputs, and you'll notice that I've connected a second microphone and record enabled track two, and so if I wanted to add a guest to the podcast, their audio would be recorded there. Now, it is nice if budget allows to have two identical microphones, but it's not required. Use whatever you have. Once you're done recording, now you can edit the audio, and this is a great time to add in your background music or sound effects, as I'm doing here. You'll notice I've got a separate track for that, and keeping everything in a separate track is really handy because when you make changes, it doesn't affect the other parts of the sound. Once you're done editing, you can export and upload your file and it'll be ready for your listeners. Now this is just a basic example of a podcast setup, but you can get as complex as you like. At craftmusic.com, we do have a variety of bundle packages and you can contact your sales advisor if you need a custom configuration. Once again, I'm Ben from Craft Music. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.